All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary playthrough. We've got another viewer requested playthrough here. Uh, I think this is the last one in my queue, so if you guys want to see anything special or specific or want to see me get annihilated or want to see some interesting, cool combos or whatever, just put them down below and I'll be more than happy to do them. The past, I mean, these have been super fun for me because it's been able to, like, I, I, I usually just randomize everything, and so when you kind of get to, you know, do some things that are a little more thematic or, like, the one last week where I just like KO'd all these bystanders because so many card effects let me do it. It just ends up being a lot of fun because you can see a lot of cool stuff. So, yeah, keep them coming. Um, but I think this is the last one I have in the queue. So, um, the next couple maybe just be randoms. Um, anyway, let's just hop into it. So, uh, I didn't have a, uh, I didn't have, I only had the, a Mastermind and uh, the Heroes, so I had to fill in the rest. That was suggested. But the Mastermind's going to be Dormammu, which if you didn't know, um, this is my favorite card art. In the entire game, I, I I don't know. I just I love this <laughs> the card art on this mastermind. Um, maybe not the entire game, but definitely my favorite mastermind card art. It's up there. I I love the card art on this. Anyway, Dormammu. So he is mouse strike. As each player uh, makes a demonic bargain with Dormammu to discard down to four cards. Remember, we'll discard the top card of our deck. If it's a card that costs greater than one, one or greater, we're going to take a wound. If not, then we're fine. But we're basically going to discard down to, uh, discard down to four cards. So we're going to lose car two cards every turn. Every time that happens, we're going to be doing duels of science and magic. So for setup, we're in the one to four player, one or four player, because we're one player. Uh, ten twists, and then twist one, three, and five. It'll be duel of science. Each player reveals a black or blue, uh, blue hero, or discards down to four cards. If at least half the cards rounded up failed to um, failed to re half the players rounded up failed to reveal, put a twist next to the match mine as duel one. Uh, twist two, four, and six are magic duels for the same thing for um, yellow and red. And then finally, seven through eleven, it's the same effect, but each player must um, reveal at least three of these colors. So we got to kind of diversify our colors, make sure we can deal with them. I'm gonna have to reread that a couple times just to make sure. We're using demons of limbo, and then we have magic men, uh, mag not magic men, magma men as our henchmen. Three attack, uh, KO one of your uh, heroes when you defeat them, and then they have. Um, Favorable Resurrection, so we'll look at the top card of the villain deck. If it's a Master, Mind, Master Strike or Scheme Twist, they'll come back into the sewers. We're going to be using Doctor Strange, the Avengers Doctor Strange. We're going to be using Silver Surfer, and we're going to be using um, Namor. So, we should be pretty good on some of these colors, especially with Namor being some dual colors. I don't think I have black, though, so we're going to have to rely on blue. And I think Silver Surfer and Doctor Strange have blue. So, okay, two and four, the classic. Scheme Twist. So... Each player reveals a black or blue hero, or discards down to four cards. Well, we're going to have to discard down to four. So he won that duel. So we're already at, um, let's put this dice here to, to signify how many duels that he's won. So he's already won one. But we do have to put something on the bottom. We're going to throw that to the bottom there. All right, so we have four. The next one that's going to come up will be, a, will be red or yellow, so let's probably try to go for that. So we have four recruit here, and I think just for the... Um, we just have to reveal, so we can actually sit one of these artifacts out and it'll help us. So we're going to get two of these books of Cagliostro. So Ritual Artifact, if you fought a villain, uh, you may discard a book of Cagliostro to get plus recruit equal to that villain's victory points. Um, yeah, we'll get two of those. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we have a Master Strike. Um, we're going to make a Demonic Bargain to discard down to four. Really not giving us any leeway here. Demonic Bargain. So we don't take a wound for that, but we have to discard down to four. So we're going to discard these two. We have four recruit. Um, let's get Warp Speed. Uh, Silver Surfer. Uh, two recruit, focus two, draw a card. So we can, any, time, any amount of times during our turn, as long as we have the recruit, we can spend two recruit to draw a card. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. Another Magma Man. All right, so let's throw the books out. So these will help us deal with... Um, those will help us deal with because we played... And I'm going to stack them. Because when we because this specifically says um, each player reveals, we can reveal um, this if they're in play. So that kind of just deals with those. So that kind of puts us in a good spot. So we have one and three. Oof. Let's get uh, lead the armies of Atlantis. Uh, two recruit. Uh, if you play a yellow hero, draw uh, gain a sidekick. Okay, I think 
I don't really like the fact that I have I have nothing attack wise, but well, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, there's um, and I also don't like the fact that everything is yellow and uh, yellow and red and green, but green's not relevant in this whole equation. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We have Demon Bear ambush. Each player has a waking nightmare. The uh, demon. Oh, why did I have to get my? They use uh, they use um, sunlight, moonlight. So. We are currently in sunlight. So this is to remind us that sunlight, so for any effects, uh, it's more even costing cards in the HQ than odd costing cards. The easy way, I've said this before, but the easy way that I remember which one it is, is sunlight, the word sunlight is eight letters. Moonlight has nine letters. Uh, sunlight is for even, moonlight is for odd. So eight letters even, nine letters odd, that's how I remember it, anyway. So, ambush. Each player has a waking nightmare. The demon bear captures one of the heroes discarded this way with the lowest cost. The demon bear's attack uh, gets plus attack equal to the hero's cost. So, waking nightmares, we have to discard a non-gray hero from our hand. So we're going to discard this to draw a card, and then he's going to capture that. And then he is going to get plus three attack, putting him at an eight. Which is not super ideal. And then fight. The player's your choice to gain those heroes, so we can get them back. But Okay, we have four... And three, let's fight uh, Magma Man. So we're going to KO one of our heroes. And then Fateful Resurrection. It's not going to resurrect, so that's gone. Um, then we have four recruit. Let's get Keeper of the Sanctum. Two attack. If you control artifact, draw a card. Okay, now we're flipping to m m uh, Moonlight because more odds. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have uh, Sim. Uh, ambush, sunlight, each other player reveals a uh, green hero gains wound. Moonlight, each player has a waking nightmare. It is moonlight. We can't have a waking nightmare because we don't have a, gr a great non-gray hero to discard. But because we have six recruit, let's get feed the sharks. I think, yeah, I think waking nightmare only counts for uh, non-gray. Waking nightmare. Discard a non-gray hero from your hand. If you discard a hero, this will draw a card. Okay. We're going to get uh, Feed the Sharks. Uh, you may KO one of your heroes from your hand. Discard if you do draw a card. Okay. And that should help us thin our deck out. But we do kind of need to deal with what's going on out here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Crotus, ambush. E e uh, Crotus captures a bystander. Put any even-numbered heroes on the bottom of the hero deck. And then he is plus four for Moonlight. So he is seven. Even, boom, and boom. They're gone. Which is not bad because it can cycle. There we go. I want to cycle for some blue so I can deal with the other thing. And I have nothing to do. <laughs> Stuff's going to start escaping. Okay, we've got uh, Recruit. Let's get Wand of Watum. If I can get this out, then we're good for... If I can get this Ritual Artifact in play, we are going to be a, a fine for the duel because we just need to... Um, we just need to reveal... Yeah. So um, if you draw, if you drew a card, you may discard Wand of Tomb to get plus three attack, which is going to happen quite frequently anyway. So, Okay. We're going to end our turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh... Nostir, so he's going to escape. Um, if it's Moonlight, he gets plus three attacks, so he's six. And because he escaped, we're going to KO a hero. Okay, can we start dealing with stuff? Yes. Okay, we're going to play this. We're going to KO a card from our discard pile to draw a card. We're going to uh, get the, since we control an artifact, we're going to draw a card. So that's four, five, six, seven. And then we have four recruit. Um, yeah, I don't want that to be all my stuff. Okay, so let's use the recruit to get another warp speed. And then with the seven attack, let's take out um, this guy and we'll get the KO one of our cards. Oops, we get to end the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
We have a scheme twist. So in this case, we have to reveal a yellow. We have a yellow here. We also have a yellow here or a red. But again, if it's in play as an artifact, they can be uh, they, they can be used to reveal stuff. So we're, we've, done, we've done that. So there is no um, having to discard, discard down to four. Okay. So we have three attack there. We are going to KO this from our hand to draw a card. We're going to draw another card for having an artifact. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's use that to fight this guy. And then I'll get another warp speed. And we're, we're actually in sunlight now, which, yep, yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the scheme twist, we should have a blue card. We do have a blue card now, so we don't have to deal with that. Let's put something on the bottom. All right, so we're gonna play this Wanda with Tomb. So now, no matter what, we are good because for the rest of the game, we're gonna reveal a blue or yellow depending on what, what, what the deal is. And at the very end, same effect, but must be reveal three cards of these colors and here's three cards. So we will basically completely ignore the scheme for the rest of the game. As long as I leave these out which I plan on it. We're gonna use our four recruit to get a Keeper of the Sanctum. And then we can start now really um, turning our uh, attention to the city and Dormammu. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Another scheme twist. This is number four. Um, we're going to reveal a yellow or a red. We have plenty. Oh, perfect. I want another one of these anyway just because it will give us an attack boost and I don't have to uh, lose one. We'll play this. We'll KO Akira to draw a card. Two, four. We have five here. We'll use the uh, recruit to get Wanda with Tomb. And then we're going to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to take out uh, the Magma Men. We'll KO one of our heroes. And then Fateful Resurrection, he's going to come back. But that is okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Scheme Twist, um, or Master Strike, I mean. We're going to do Demonic Bargain. So we're going to take a Wound, and we're going to discard down to 4. I will discard these two. All right, we've got five recruit here. Is that what I want to do? Actually, no, I'm going to discard these two and keep this. So we're going to do this to draw a card. We'll draw a card. There's five. We'll spend two with uh, focus to draw a card, so there's six. Let's fight the Magma Men. We'll KO one of our heroes. We'll Fateful Resurrection. He doesn't come back. I was hoping he did, um, but that's okay. All right, we can end our turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have like no cards in my deck. All right, Witchfire, Ambush. Witchfire captures a hero from the HQ with the lowest uh, odd number cost. And then if it's Sunlight, um, Witchfire gets uh, two attack. And she does because it's Sunlight. Okay. Okay, so we have this Wand of a Tomb. We're going to play. So yeah, we're, we're perfectly... We're, we're in a good spot here. Okay. Six recruit and an attack. Let's use that six to get the power cosmic. Um, it's three recruit and then focus nine to get nine attack. So we can turn this around and get a uh, get a big boost there. Ooh. And we've got some rares to get. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to slide these down just a tad to give myself some space. All right. We have Crotus again, Ambush. He captures a bystander. Put put an even number here from the um, on the bottom of the hero deck. Okay. 
And then if it's Moonlight, he's plus, he's plus four. We'll play this, we'll KO this, draw a card. So it's two, three, four, we'll draw a card. Five, six, we'll draw a card. Seven, eight. Since we drew a card, I'm gonna discard a Wand of a Tomb uh, to do the Ritual Artifact, get three attack. So it's gonna be three more attack. And then we have six recruit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's fight Normamu. Um, each of the player takes a demonic bargain with Normamu to gain a zero cost hero from the uh, KO pile. So we're gonna do the demonic bargain. We're gonna take a wound, and then we're gonna get one of these guys back. So I'm gonna take this back. Then with the six recruit. Mm, let's get another pow the uh, power cosmic. Are we in Moonlight now? We sure are. So he becomes seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a scheme twist. This is scheme twist number five. So we have to reveal blue hero. We've got a blue there, so we're good. All right. But we really got to kind of deal with this city as well. So we'll play this Wanda with Tomb. Put it underneath, maybe. Um, we have five recruit. We'll use it to get another Keeper of the Sanctum. And then I think we're probably good until I want to get these rares, but we'll see. Okay. Now the Scheme Twist, this is number six. We have yellow. We also have yellow here, so we do avoid that as well. Put that on the bottom. Oh, actually, I want another Feed the Sharks. Okay, so we're going to play this. We'll KO um, a card from our discard pile to draw a card. We control an artifact, we'll draw a card. We control an artifact, we'll draw a card. There's uh, eight, nine attack. And then we have seven recruit. So let's use the seven recruit to get um, energy surge. Double the recruit you have. So I think it's self-explanatory and why that's really good. We're back to sunlight. So she's gonna jump up to six. We have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine attack. Let's take out uh, demon bear. We'll get this card back and we can end our turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another scheme twist. So this is scheme twist number seven. So we have to have three cards of the colors. It's dual of magic. So we have three cards right there. So that, that works out. But we also have it here too. But either way. We are in Moonlight. <laughs> okay, so we're going to draw two cards. Um, hmm. Let's discard one of these wands to get um, three attack. Because we drew. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten attack. And then we have eight recruit. Let's get Imperious Rex. Uh, defeat a villain for free, but if you play two blue, two green and two yellow heroes, instead defeat the mastermind once for free. And then since we have 10 attack, let's take out... Um, we'll take him out to get Stan Lee. Stan Lee is when you rescue a bystander, you can say a hero name, then reveal the top three cards of your deck, and put one of those uh, cards with the exact hero name into your hand. I'm going to just say Doctor Strange. I don't have any Doctor Strange. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Scheme twist. Reveal three. We've got three there. We also have three here, so that's plenty. All right. We're going to play this. We'll KO that to draw a card. We're going to draw a card for controlling an artifact. We're going to get a sidekick. We've got this 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 we're going to play this and double it so two four wait two four six eight so another eight 
Oh, buddy. What do we want to do here? We have a couple different options. Let's use six for uh, feed the sharks. Are we still in uh, moonlight? We are. Let's use our four attack to take out witch fire and we'll get this. And then we have six, we have 12 recruit. Oh, this is my deck. We have 12 recruit. I don't really want any of this stuff. We'll get this for six. We still have six left. Let's get the wand, wands of Watoms. Okay. And we are still in Moonlight. Okay. We're just going to go for a big, like, I'm going to see if I can make it as much attack as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a Master Strike, so we're going to do Demonic Bargain. We're going to take a Wound, just discard down to four. So we'll discard these two. We're going to play this. We can defeat a villain for free, so he's defeated. We're going to play the two wands. We're going to play this and draw a card. And I'll use three for warp speed. Okay. Three, six. Master Strike, uh, another demonic bargain here. We're going to discard, take a wound. I'm going to discard this and discard that. No, I'll, I'll, yeah, that's fine. We're going to KO two cards from our discard pile. So we'll KO this and this. No, no, no. Do I have another wound? Yeah, I'll just, we'll get rid of the two wounds. I like this little ecosystem here. Regardless if we get the demonic bargain or not, we still can... All right, so we're going to play these. That's going to be eight things, and we're going to go back up to 16. So we have eight recruit times two because we doubled it, so 16 recruit. We're going to spend nine of the 16. Um, let me just do this. We can just collapse this. We have 16, and we're going to spend nine, leaving us seven. And so to give us nine attack... So we have a total of 13 attack. We'll fight Dormammu. Um, each other player makes a demonic bargain with Dormammu to KO a non-gray hero from the discard pile. So let's see what we got. We're going to do the demonic bargain. We're going to take the wound and then we're going to KO that. And then with the seven recruit, we'll get another keeper of the sanctum. That's what I want. Okay. We can worry about that next turn. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Witchfire, uh, she captures the lowest odd number hero. I'm going to give her that one. And it is sunlight, so she's plus two. All right, so let's see what we got here. We do control an artifact, so let's draw. We're gonna play this uh, Wand of Watoom. We're gonna play this and draw a card. I'm gonna discard all the Wand of Watooms for that uh, card draw to get plus 12. We're gonna play that and get a sidekick for playing a yellow hero. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, seventeen. We're gonna use our focus ability three times by paying recruit uh, three recruit or two recruit three times. We're gonna play this to defeat a villain for free. This we gain this card. We have another attack. We're gonna use our two. Re we're gonna use uh, this focus ability again and draw another card. We're gonna draw a card. We're gonna use focus to draw a card. Okay. All right, so I think we're good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, uh, 21. Now, here's the thing. 
We have one recruit left. Keep that in mind. But we're going to use... We have 21. We have 21 attack. We're going to fight Dormammu. All right? We have 10 attack left. Choose a player to make a demonic bargain with Dormammu uh, to gain a hero and HQ that costs 6 or less. So, hold for a moment. Let's resolve that. We're going to take the thing and then we're going to gain a hero that costs 6 or less. Now, watch this thing here. We're at Moonlight. I'm going to get rid of the Book of Cagliostro. If you fought a villain... Oh, never mind. Not a, it's a villain, not a villain. I, I mean, I guess I could have. Never mind. I thought I was going to be able to uh, get a bunch of recruit for um, focusing again to draw up. Didn't read that. <laughs> you fought a villain, you may discard Book of Yoko's to get it. To, yeah, okay. Okay, that's it then. <laughs> never mind. I thought I was going to be able to uh, use the victory points to get another six recruit and then turn around and focus all of it. Scheme twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Scheme twist. We have one, two. We have plenty. I mean, we've got we've got all the colors, so we're totally fine there. All right. Now, can we end the game? We're going to play this to KO this to draw a card. We're going to KO that to draw a card. We're going to play that to draw a card. We have three, six... 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to double our recruit for 20. Um, I mean, we can, we, can, we can get 18 attacks straight up. But instead, let's do this. Let's, use, let's do our focus ability 10 times for the draw card. So I'm going to shuffle my deck. We're going to draw. We're going to see how, how long. We're going to see what we can do. So we're going to focus the draw card. So we'll draw one card, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to play the two wands. We're going to play hairball to draw a card. It's going to give us an attack. We're going to discard both the wands to get seven, six attack for both of those. So seven extra attack total, We're getting rid of hairball. We have no recruit. Just keep that in mind for for the for the moment. We have no recruit. We're gonna draw a card. We've got four, five, eight recruit there. We're gonna spend uh, we're gonna spend two to focus, two to focus, two, two. We're gonna play this wand. We're gonna play this to draw a card because we control an artifact. We're gonna discard this to get three attack. We're gonna draw a card. We're gonna draw two cards. Oops, went got drew too many. Um, I think we have, we yeah, we have no recruit at the moment again. We're gonna get a sidekick. We're gonna draw a card again. We're gonna play this wand. Then we're gonna focus two to draw a card and discard that wand for drawing a card to get three more attack. There's two more attack there. We'll focus again to draw a card. There's the wand. We can't defeat it. We have no villain to defeat for free. We've got another recruit and we've got three attack. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 25, 32. We're gonna fight Dormammu. <laughs> Each other player makes a demonic bargain with Dormammu to discard card. Okay, that's it. We won. So let's count the victory points. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got 55 uh, victory points here minus, uh, I think, 30... How many How many things do we have? 55 minus uh, 27. So 55, 25, 28. 28. We have 28 victory points, which is not bad, but that last turn was pretty sick. So that was a lot of fun. Um, anyway, like I said before, let me know if you want to see specific setups and, or suggestions. I'm always down for that. Um, these are a lot of fun. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.